Hey guys, Alina with ifoodreal.com here. Today we are making the most popular instant pot recipe with pantry staples. Instant pot rice and beans. You literally need rice and beans. Let's do it. When it comes to instant pot cooking, it's important to add ingredients in exact order. Here I have instant pot lux, and we're going to add one large diced onion, uh, rinsed brown rice, today I'm using brown basmati rice, and rinsed uh, dried black beans. Then here we have a combination of spices, cumin, chili powder, garlic powder, and salt. Just add them right there. Then all we have left to add is four cups of water and I am using boiled water because it does speed up cooking process. You can also use stock and actually I will add one bouillon cube organic low sodium instead of stock. And last goes in a 28 ounce can of low sodium diced tomatoes. It's important to add tomatoes anything tomato last and do not stir. Then close the lid and I find it easiest to line up this thick part with the thick part at the end. Make sure the pressure release valve is set to ceiling. That's where accidents happen and the steam is leaking out if you keep it on venting. And now we want to pressure cook on high pressure for 22 minutes. Instant Pot Lux does not have a pressure cook button and it has only high pressure. So all you have to do is press manual and whether you want to keep it warm or not, I'll keep it warm and reduce time to 22 minutes. And then you do nothing. There is no start button. On other models in Sunpot Duo, for example, you will have pressure cook button and make sure the pressure is selected to high. So now the instant pot will beep and display will say on. It means your instant pot is starting to preheat. And then it's gonna take probably about 15 minutes or so, 20, depending if you had boiled water or not. And then the countdown from 22 minutes will begin here. So after 22 minutes, you can wait a couple of minutes before releasing pressure. And to release pressure, all you have to do is turn this knob to venting and keep your face away. It should take about three to five minutes and drop down pin is indicating that the pressure is down and it's safe to open instant pot. So liquid on top is fine. Give it a few stirs and it should incorporate with rice and beans. If you find your beans are too crunchy or you prefer them very, very soft and less liquid, um, you can put the lid back on and let rice and beans sit like this for about 10 minutes. But I am gonna go ahead, I actually like this soupy-ish rice and beans and add um, cilantro or green onion that I have right now. It adds nice zest and flavor. You can also add hot sauce or on a plate or right into the pot. Squeeze of lime would be nice as well. You can sprinkle some cheese on top. And let me show you my favorite way to serve rice and beans. It's with very simple version of Ukrainian cucumber and tomato salad. I find that this salad adds nice freshness and crunch to a stew like rice and beans. 